Discussion on Prosthetic Wall Thrombosis Obstruction of a prosthetic wall by a non-infective thrombus is what we mean by prosthetic wall thrombosis. Size of the thrombus is important in deciding the management. Pathophysiology of Prosthetic Wall Thrombosis 1. Endothelial Factors Suture zone endothelialization occurs in 3 to 4 weeks. Risk of thrombosis is higher prior to endothelialization if anticoagulation is suboptimal. 2. Hemodynamic factors. Localized region of turbulent flow causes endothelial trauma and damage to blood cells, releasing adenosine diphosphate, which promote platelet aggregation. 3. Coagulation factors. Predisposing factors for prosthetic wall thrombosis. Insufficient anticoagulation, mitral or tricuspid position, hypercoagulable state, presence of associated atrial thrombus. Panis can occur along with the thrombus as well. Bioprosthetic heart walls are at risk of thrombosis in the initial period after implantation till they get endothelialized. Mechanical prosthetic heart walls have a lifelong risk of prosthetic wall thrombosis and thromboembolism and hence need lifelong anticoagulation. Tricuspid prosthetic valve is more prone for thrombosis due to the low velocity of blood flow. Mitral valve has higher risk than arctic valve because of the lower blood flow velocity across it. Clinical presentations 1. Clinically silent prosthetic valve thrombosis 2. Prosthetic valve thrombosis with embolic episodes like cerebral, coronary or peripheral embolism can occur in up to 25% of cases. 3. Hemodynamic problem with evidence of wall thrombosis. Prosthetic wall thrombosis can present with fever in the setting of infective endocarditis. Fever can occur in prosthetic wall thrombosis even without endocarditis. Diagnosis of prosthetic wall thrombosis. High resolution sound spectrograph can detect wall thrombosis by the change in wall sounds. This is probably similar to suspicion of thrombosis when audible wall sound intensity decreases clinically. Patients are routinely instructed to listen for the wall sounds in a quiet room and report back if there is a decrease in intensity. Cinefluoroscopy is useful as it can detect decreased leaflet and poppet movement as well as abnormal movement of the wall cage. Short video clipping follows describing bileaflet prosthetic mitral valve on fluoroscopy. Bileaflet prosthetic mitral valve and a left coronary angiogram in the background. The image shows the opening and closing of the mitral leaflets. This is the ring of the mitral valve, prosthetic mitral valve. The leaflets are seen opening and closing. Two leaflets are seen in this view. Background shows coronary angiogram. Tiger catheter is seen in the left coronary ostium. This is another view, the RIO caudal view. Earlier one was the LAO caudal view. Here the wall ring is seen in a different plane. You can see the coronary angiogram as well in the background. This is a still image of the coronary angiogram showing the various branches of the left coronary artery. Since it is a post-surgical patient, sternal suture wires are also seen in the background. Echocardiography is an important tool for evaluation of prosthetic wall thrombosis. Thrombus can be visualized by echocardiography, better with transesophageal than transthoracic echocardiography. Gradients and valve areas can be estimated. Dimensionless obstruction indices are the ratio of subvalvar to supravalvular velocities and velocity time integrals. Management of prosthetic valve thrombosis. If the thrombus in the prosthetic valve is less than 5 mm in size, only intravenous heparin is recommended. For larger thrombi, there are two options thrombolysis versus surgical treatment. Thrombolysis has an initial success rate of 70 to 80 percent, but there is a 5 to 22 percent risk of embolism and 5 to 12 percent risk of disabling stroke. Thrombolysis is the preferred treatment for right-sided prosthetic valve thrombosis 
and small left sided thrombi. Surgical treatment has a combined risk of death or stroke of 9%. In patients presenting with stroke, surgery is the first option as thrombolysis is contraindicated. You may wish to check out three more articles on my blog.